Good day sa inyo mga ka-network and ang pag-uusapan naman natin ngayong araw na ito ay yung bagong Cisco Certification Track or Exam. And uh, paano natin siya paghahandaan at ano yung mga dapat natin gawin para makuha natin yung bagong Certification Track. Okay? So, that, without further ado, uh, let's start. Okay? So, ito yung, ito yung unahin muna natin i-discuss. Um, Ano ba yung current na certification track? So, this will be the current certification track. And uh, we all know that in order to get the CCNA, at least, kung gusto mo maging CCNA, na, ang, meron tayong dalawang paraan dyan. Okay? So, ang unang paraan is you get the CCENT certification first and then you go to the CCNA level. Okay? So, nasa iyon. That will be a two-exam uh, track na pwede mong gamitin. Go to the CCNT and then go to the CCNA. Pero pwede rin naman na you go straight to the CCNA without having to pass through the CCENT. At yun ang marami ang uh, ginagawa. No? Dumidiretso na sila sa CCNA. Kasi nga naman, sabi nga nila, pagka ikaw ay nag-CCENT pa, before you go to the CCNA, you are just prolonging the agony. No? Pero ang tanong, bakit in the past, ginagawa nila yung CCENT? Or why why did Cisco uh, introduce the CCENT kung pwede ka namang dumiretsyo ng CCNA? Ganito kasi yan. No? Halimbawa, you want to go to CCNA routing and switching. So, sabi nga, dalawang, dalawang approaches yan. No? First approach is you go to the CCNT and then you go to the CCNA, routing and switching. Okay? Ngayon, ang tanong, what if I want to go to the CCNT, uh, routing and switching? Kailangan CCNA ka muna bago ka makapag-take up ng CCNT, routing and switching. But, if you want to go to the CC uh, MP security hindi pwedeng diretso ka from CCNA routing and switching you go directly to CCNP security hindi po pwede yun ang pwede mong gawin is you go to the CCNA security first and then saka ka pwedeng pumunta sa CCNP security okay? that's why inintroduce nila yung CCNP dahil dati Nung wala pa yung CCENT, para maging CCNA security ka, kailangan CCNA routing switching ka. That was before. No? So, ang ginawa nila, para hindi ka na dederecho ng CCNA routing switching before you can go to security, pwede kang mag-take up ng CCENT and then go straight to CCNA security without having to go to the CCNA routing switching. Okay, so, I hope that makes sense. No? And uh, saka ka ngayon pwedeng pumunta doon sa CCMP security. So, in that way, mas, ano siya, no? mas uh, madaling makapunta from uh, the entry level, CCNA security, and then CCMP security. Okay? And then, if you want, you can go to CC, CCIE, which is, of course, the highest certification level for uh, most of the Cisco tracks. Okay? So, yun yung, yung concept kung bakit merong CCENT. Na? And, uh, pero sabi ko nga, pwede naman diretso eh. Na? So, pwede ka nandun diretso, uh, CCNA, then CCNP, and then CCIE. Now, this is the, the, the old certification track. Okay? Merong tatlong levels and halos lahat ng track, na mapa design, wireless security, etc., Lahat yan, may kanya-kanyang uh, CCNA level. Alright? And then, you can now go to the CCNP level and then eventually, pwede ka nang pumunta sa CCIE. Alright? Okay, so that's how the uh, current Cisco certification tracks uh, work. Okay? Ngayon, uh, pagdating ng February 24, syempre, magkakaroon na tayo ng pagbabago. Ito na ngayon yung bagong uh, certification tracks. And this is, uh, I think, uh, 
one of the most brilliant moves ni Cisco pagdating sa certification track dahil naging mas concise na siya and I think mas madali siyang makuha uh, compared doon sa uh, current ngayon na uh, uh, certification track. No? So let, let me explain kung bakit ko nasabi na mas madali. In, in the new certification tracks ni Cisco, o mapapansin nyo doon sa pinakababa, yung CCNA, uh, isa na lang. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, whether ang track mo ay security or uh, wireless or collaboration no? or data center, whatever, ang kukunin mo na lang na CCNA ay isa na lang. Meaning, this CCNA, this is only, this is one CCNA for every track na kukunin mo. So, hindi ka na pipili kung CCNA security, CCNA collaboration, etc. Wala na. Isang CCNA uh, certification na lang. And also, in the entry, uh, I mean, in the associate level, meron dito ang pinatawag na DevNet Associate. Ito ngayon yung bago. And this is, I think, one of the most exciting um, track ni Cisco nowadays dahil dito pumapasok yung um, ang tawag nito uh, the programming side of networking dahil dito magkakaroon na tayo ng network automation uh, and in fact if you look into the if you look into the uh, curriculum of the DevNet Associate may kita nyo na pang programming siya and only 10% in the curriculum is actually for networking. Okay? So this is very exciting. The DevNet Associate, especially those who are in the programming field. Okay? So ang tanong ngayon, what if I want to become a specialist in security? Anong gagawin ko? Well, kung gusto mong maging uh, specialist sa security, hindi ka doon sa CCNA level magpo-focus or magpo-concentrate. Ang focus mo na ngayon is doon sa CCNP level. Okay? And in the CCNP level, dito na ngayon nahahati yung uh, mga tracks natin. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, isang CCNA lang for every track, but pagdating sa CCNP, hati-hati na ulit yung tracks natin. Okay? So, one example, for, one example is, let us say the routing is switching. But, you will not anymore see routing and switching on the new track. Ang may kita mo na ngayon doon sa bagong track is the enterprise. Ito na yung equivalent ng routing and switching. So, hindi ka na makakita ng CCNP routing and switching but the enterprise level. And, if you want to have a specialization on, on these tracks, meron ka lang isang kukunin na exam para sa lahat ng tracks na yan. At ang tawag natin doon is the core exam. So say for example, you want to uh, have a specialization in routing switching under the enterprise. Okay? Kailangan, dalawang exam sa mangyari. No? So number one is you will have the core exam and then you will have the second exam which is the uh, specialization exam for routing switching. All right. Now, if you want to go to CCNP security, ganun din ang gagawin mo. Kailangan meron kang core exam and then a specialization for uh, the security level. And ganun din sa service provider, collaboration, data center, and uh, the DevNet professional. Meaning, meron ka kailangan na core exam. Ang tawag nila doon is the end core exam. All right. And then after the end core exam, that is the time pwede kang pumunta doon sa uh, specialization level. And in case of enterprise, yung madalas nating uh, naririnig is for the routing and the switching. And then from there, you can now go to the CCIE uh, level. No? For example, from CCNE enterprise, you can now go to CCIE enterprise uh, expert. Okay, or CCIE Enterprise uh, Infrastructure. So, ito yung medyo madugo ng konti, no? Uh, dahil alam naman natin, ang mga exams ni Cisco ay mahirap. And not to mention, mahal. 
Alright? So, kailangan talaga natin pagandaan nito. So, in summary, ang difference ng uh, Cisco certification na darating come February 24, okay, ay yung level. Okay? So, say for example, sa season A, sa level niya, isa na lang ang kukunin ninyo. That is for all tracks. And if you want to specialize, doon na tayo sa CCMP level when you specialize. But before you can go to one specialization, for example, you have to pass the court exam before you can get the specialization level. And then, you can go to the CCIE level. So, I think mas madali ito, as I mentioned, dahil uh, just imagine, in all the tracks, isang CCNA na lang ang kailangan mo. At doon ka na lang magpo-focus sa CCNP whenever you want to specialize. Okay? At ito pa isang magandang balita. So say for example, uh, uh, you are uh, bag baguhan ka for example in Cisco. No? And the training ka for example, the bootcamp ka. And you will take the CCNA. The good news is, uh, pwede ka man din na mag CCNA. Eh, no? You can you can go straight to CCNP. Okay? Ibig sabihin, eh, diretso ka na ng CCNP without passing through the CCNA. Which is, in the old ways, or may I say, the, the current, uh, current na track no? ni Cisco, eh kailangan CCNA ka muna bago ka makapag-take up ng CCNP. Now, in the new track, this coming February 24, you can go straight to CCNP without the CCNA certification. So, isang magandang balita pa yun, no? na pwede ka ng diretsyo. Pero, syempre, hindi natin masyadong nire-recommend yan, especially if you are new to networking. Mas maganda pa rin talaga yung ladderize para meron ka ng building blocks before you go to a much deeper understanding of uh, the technology, especially of Cisco. Okay? So, I hope uh, nakatulong sa inyo to at uh, sana pagdating ng panahon, magkikita-kita tayo as uh, CCIE. So, thank you and good day to everybody.